Well, it's Saturday, and I think it's time for a bit of ass. Well, not a bit of ass, quite a bit of ass. If you have a look at that picture of Kim Kardashian, which is uh, currently still making the headlines, um, I'm I'm not ashamed to admit that I um, I quite like looking at the naked female form. I'm unfortunate in these day and age when I still find such things attractive. Um, but unfortunately, it's not a time for having such views. Or maybe it is. This week's news has left me completely confused about such matters. I mean, on one hand, we have was it Dr. Matt Taylor who wore a shirt on which there were pictures of, well, they were no more than Roy Lichtenstein type 1950s glamour girls, um, not naked dressed uh, but he received attacks abuse on the internet calling him a misogynist and saying that science is still um, dominated by misogynism and blah 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 and it upset him to the point that he broke down crying when he issued an apology which I don't th personally think he needed to issue because on the, at the same time Kim Kardashian poses for this picture which is all over all the newspapers and um, it's far worse than the shirt yet people think it's a wonderful thing or a lot of people seem to think it's a wonderful thing personally I find it offensive I don't want to be looking at her ass um, if I want to look at naked asses covered in oil there are plenty of places on the internet I can go to look at that um, but this self-promoting egoist who has no talent other than than this, whatever this is, um, people think it's wonderful. I'm just confused. It's not a good time to be a man. Um, male vi male um, viewpoints, male sensibilities, aesthetics, everything is demeaned discouraged, mocked, parodied, um, it's just not a good time to be a man. And speaking of not a good time to be a man, I suppose it's not a good time to be a man like David Mill uh, Ed Miliband, uh, who as you can see I was struggling to draw, I was drawing this about 3 o'clock in the morning, I was tired and I just wanted to doodle instead of doing my um, I usually code late into the night and I think I was just doing this at the end of the evening and I was struggling I think at one point I actually fall asleep so there's a point at which this video changes and you'll see I've moved to the next day where suddenly it gets better but the point about drawing this I suppose I suppose I like the idea that here are two figures desperate for the public's affirmation and they'll do absolutely anything to um, to win it Unfortunately, though, Ed Miliband is not a Kim Kardashian figure. And uh, unfortunately, in this day and age, I think you have to have, be a bit of a Kim Kardashian. Um, willing to show your ass and to do anything to gain the public's attention. Um, and I think, unfortunately for Ed, he doesn't have that. Yet my sympathy is entirely with him, because, as I keep saying, I... I like Ed Miliband, I wish he would gain the public's trust and support and I just don't think, but I don't think he will I just don't think he has the Kim Kardashian factor and politics for the vast majority of people requires a Kim Kardashian um, element and that's sad here we go the next day I think already you can see that the face looks better it's amazing what a bit of tiredness does to a person. But anyway, like I was saying, there's something in society that demands the Kim Kardashian factor. And I guess... Um, I guess the outrage over the T-shirts and the, popu the, you know, the popularity, or as the headline said, you know, the, f the picture apparently was going to break the internet sensation, we live in an age of sensation, everything has to have a 
sensational element um, the grumpy cat syndrome everything's got to have a an easy nail to hang it on an easy trope on every meme has got to have a a clever idea art isn't about great painting or great um, meaning it's about spectacle and about a great single idea we live in the age of conceptual art I mean I suppose the perfect embodiment of that is the um, the um, recent um, Tower of London exhibition with the, um, the thousands and thousands hundreds of thousands of poppies um, it was spectacular and it had a simple theme a simple idea it's, is it art? You see, I don't personally think it is art. Um, I understand why people think it's art, and I understand why it's popular amongst the public who generally don't like art. But it's a meme. It's it's a sensation. It it, it for want of a better description, it's Kim Kardashian's ass. It's just big. It's scale. It's spectacular. And we live in that age. We live in the age of. Everything's got to have a simple to grasp concept. Um, everything is black and white. At the moment, um, we're here in the UK, we're um, following a trial. Oh, it's not even a trial. It's a trial by public of a footballer, a Ched. Um, Ched Evans, who was sentenced to prison for a rape, which he denies. Um, the... the facts surrounding it are pretty repulsive even if he's um, innocent of rape it's still a pretty nasty tale of um, sex and drunkenness and debauchery and however you want to view it but even if he's if he, even if he is guilty he's gone to prison he's served, served some time for the crime People now want him no longer to be able to play football and Jessica Ennis has asked for a name to be taken off um, Sheffield United's stadium because Sheffield United are thinking about re-signing Ched Evans and one of the most ridic ridiculed people of my childhood I always seem to remember or prior to my childhood was Lord Longford who always seemed to defend the indefensible who was supposedly a a friend of Myra Hindley, and he was always mocked, and in a way, um, rightly so. But I do find myself continually feeling like I have to defend scumbags against the mob mentality that seems to prevail now, mainly through the internet and Twitter. And a perfect example of this is um, the Ched Evans thing. Um, I mean, he's probably a scumbag. I, I wouldn't want to defend him at all. But there is a point at which the public debate becomes no more than just a mob, a mob mentality led by celebrities. There's no sophistication or understanding of legal processes or the complications of the world. It's simply... An expression of outrage, usually led by celebrities. Um, in the case of the Chad Evans trial, I mean, one of the most vocal people is one of Sky Sports News' um, presenters. Um, why we should listen to a Sky Sport News presenter, I, I do not know. Um, she, except she was on TV. She was a, one of the glamorous news readers Sky Sports News seemed to believe we need in order to absorb our news um, it's like Tom Waits used to say about um, attractive weather, weather women uh, why the weather should be more accurate when read by an attractive woman he doesn't know well it's the same with celebrities the same with the Ched Evans trial I mean does the argument against Ched Evans become more um hardened, more certain because his attacker happened to read the sports news on Sky Sports News I don't know but it feels like another celebrity led 
issue uh, and I I question I question it I, I don't want to defend Ched Evans I, I'm not remotely interested in Ched Evans and even like I say if, if, if even if he was innocent of um, rape he's still guilty of just typical wanton debauchery and the kind of stuff which seems to pass for sexuality these days or eroticism it's what's his a version of Kim Kardashian's ass. There's nothing erotic about that. It's just spectacle. It's just excess. Um, but we live in the age of excess. Excess is the thing that you manage to sell your your work through. I imagine if I painted this on the side of a church wall or with my own shit, this cartoon would become an internet sensation. But I don't, because I don't believe in doing that. Anyway, I think I'm getting to the end of this now. Um, I might not carry on doing these videos. I've been attacked by so much spam recently from China that I, I begin to um, tire of... I tire of the internet. Um, I tire of... just the crass... the crass side of the internet. And I, You know, you try to do something which isn't crass and... you get nowhere. But, um... Meanwhile, Kim Kardashian's ass reigns supreme. Makes no sense to me. Makes absolutely no sense to me whatsoever. I was going to sum up with some kind of pithy remark, but I can't really say anything more pithy than Kim Kardashian's ass reigns supreme. Um, I wish it was otherwise. We carry on with work to do. To do whatever th we think is important, but... Um, Sometimes our best efforts aren't good enough. Anyway, I didn't think this was too bad a cartoon. I might do more, I don't know. It's Saturday, I'm feeling grim. <laughs>